In this video, I'm going to show you how to post to your blog, your WordPress blog, via email using a tool that's already embedded in WordPress. So you don't need a plugin, you don't need to install anything to your WordPress blog. You just need to set up some settings and then run something on your server. And it's nothing, no software that you have to add to it. It's already on your server. So the reason you would do this is if you want to save memory, if you don't want to have a bunch of plugins running because that can slow down your site, that can slow down your server overall. If you have tons of blogs and you're running all these plugins in there, it can really cause issues. So we'll go, we'll get into this. We'll start by going to from the dashboard to settings and then writing. So post via email under the writing settings is where you would enter the information so that you can post to your website via email. Now it's going to give you, it's got to have, you have to have pop three access in your server and it's going to give you some random strings. This is so you can create an email address that is very random. You don't want anything going to this email address except for your emails that you want to be posted because they will be posted to your blog. So it's got to be very random so that you don't get spam or you don't get your friend sending you something or whatever. So we're just going to copy one of these. Then go to your cPanel account. So you go in your cPanel account, find the mail section, and then go to email accounts. We're going to create a new email by entering that in there. We copy that string. And then coming up with a password. Make sure yours is stronger than mine. Don't really need to worry about the mailbox quota because after it runs and checks for an email and then grabs it, it's gonna delete that email from there. So you, don't, you can have a quota, that's probably a good idea. You don't have to worry about how big it is. So our email address is created. Go into configure email client. It's gonna give us our information. I'm gonna do non SSL just because it's only email. There's nothing like doctor information or it's only just posts that are gonna be public anyways. So copy the username. Back to your writing sex, uh, settings. That's going to be your login name. And we're going to get incoming ser server. Add into the mail server. Leave the port as the same because it shows that POP3 port is 110. So that's default port, so it shouldn't really have to change. And then you're going to enter your password. Now be aware that this does show this in plain text when you're typing it. After that, you're going to decide on the default mail category. So this is what your your post is going to be posted to by default. You can choose anything in here, uncategorized or test post is what I'm going to use just because that's one of the categories I have for testing. I'm going to go ahead and save that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this just because I'm going to mail it to it. Go back to the email settings. And then from in here, I'm going to access the webmail. So this is where you can kind of see if it's working and then see the mailbox. I like um, Roundcube, which is the mail software that comes with the server. Go ahead and log into that. So I'm going to com compose an email to the email address that we put in the settings. Your subject is going to be the title of your post. So this is a test. And then whatever message we want in here is going to be the body of your post. Now, I'm sure you can find some different things online of how to add images and all of that, but I'm going to let you look for that. And I might make a second video, but this is really about getting it set up and getting you at least working to the point where you can start having your blog gather information from emails. So if you're out on the road or something like that, you just send a quick email to your blog and then it will kind of get it in there. So I'll send it. You just want to send to this mailbox. It can be from any address. It doesn't matter. I'm just doing this because for privacy reasons. So we'll go ahead and send. So now you see the mailbox has a new email address. I'm not going to open it and you should not open it because I believe the script only looks at unread emails. So once we have sent that email, our mailbox that WordPress is configured to look at for new posts 
Remember, it's going to post any new email. We have that ready to go. Now we want to go to another PHP site that's already been configured and already made by WordPress on your blog. So what you do is you take your web address, your website address, and then you add slash WP hyphen mail dot PHP. Just like this, you can pause the video and, and copy that down. See my website address is making a dot website. And then I just added the slash PHP hyphen mail dot PHP. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter. And what that's going to do is trigger it to run the script that checks that mail, email box, gathers the information, and then adds it to my blog. So a couple ways here to make sure everything's working. First, we can get this message mission complete. The message was deleted, and it, we can see the subject of the email as the title. The second way is to check and see if that email was deleted. After that, we can go to the post section of our website and see if this was posted. So that was the one we just did. These are other ones I did trying to make sure I understood how to do it. So from what I can tell, you can't really have it come in, at least in this version of WordPress that's out now, and automatically post. You're going to have to log into your site and just go into quick edit. And, oh, we'll have to go into edit. Excuse me. We'll have to go into edit and then just publish it. That's all you got to do. Everything's already in there. And then once that is done, we'll see the post that I just made. Whatever you want, whatever message we want here. So that's kind of the way to make the post and get it into the email. Now we want it, that script to run as often as we think we're going to be posting, just about. So to do that, and what I mean is to have this website run on its own so that it, say I'm, I'm going to send a, a web, an email once a day. I don't want to have to be going to this site manually. I can set up what's called a cron job that'll run this website on its own once a day. So to do that, go back to your cPanel and go to the home. So we're back in the cPanel. Go to the find section and type cron. So it's going to bring up cron jobs. From here, we can decide how often we want this to run. You can do the once per day right here or twice per day, depending on your needs. I'm going to do one per minute just for a test. So in the command, we type wget hyphen capital N and then that address that we were using before. Add the cron job. It's in there. Now I'm going to send a new. Let me get my email address. Go back to the settings. I'm going to send a new email and we can see if this works. Okay, we'll send it. Now, because we're not actually loading that website, we won't actually see this. So the way we can test to see if it's been working, there's a couple ways we can go into post and see if it's put a pending post in there with the subject or the title of our subject of our email. Or we can sit here and just kind of watch this. We'll give it a couple minutes. Hopefully it works. But depending on the settings that you've made, it should work every minute. Now, a little bit of a warning about every minute. Remember, this is running a PHP script on your server, so it could slow down your website depending on how often you do it. If you're doing it once an hour, once every 30 minutes, that really won't cause an issue. But if you're doing it every minute, that's a lot of load on your server, especially if it's collecting emails. So just a word of caution right there. Um, so I gave it a couple minutes, and it just I think it just took some time for it to get in the server, and maybe it had some stuff queued up. So it just running that example in a video is a little hard, but it did work. So if you do decide to do that, just give it some time. Now, as you can see, because you have to go in there and Kind of mess with the it only posted as pending and you don't really have a lot of options this is not the best way to post to via email there are some there's a plugin called posty i'm gonna make a video about that next that's what i found to be one of the best ways it's also free it is a plugin though so you're gonna 
have to use some memory to run it, but it's much more intuitive. It's easier. You can easily add tags and it's very easy. I've tried Jetpack. I didn't like it as much. So I'm going to put that in the com or the description, a link to that video. And also just look at, look at it. And if you want to rate and subscribe, you can look through the re rest of my videos to learn more about WordPress and making a website mm -hmm. in general. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I will get back to you as soon as I can, and I'll be as helpful as I can. Thank you for watching.